All right, guys, we are. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, point of me making a rock paper scissors classic two-player game. So uh, everyone should know the rules of rock paper scissors. So it should be pretty easy to understand logically what we need to do. So in this case, we need to declare a variable called user choice. All right, so. Uh, this one say to make it a global variable, so we're not going to. And it's going to prompt, do you choose rock, paper, or scissors? Question mark. Uh, let's go rock. We don't actually do anything with it. We're just getting input so far. So the next thing a variable called computer choice and make it equal to math.random. Um, if you're not familiar with math.random in Java, it generates a random number. It usually takes some parameters. We'll see here how it goes. So this is equal to math.random. Print out computer choice so you can see how math.random works. So we're going to call console.log and then we're going to call computer choice. Step isn't needed for the game, it's just useful for learning. Okay, so we'll say rock again, and then you can see that it prints out a random number. In this case, it looks like a, somewhere between 0.99 and 0 0.001 or something like that. All right, so yeah, it looks like it's between one and one and zero if uh, without parameters anyhow. So under your existing code, write an if else if else statement, so if else if then else so in this case if Existing code right off the blah blah blah. Um, so if computer choice is less than or equal to 0 0.33, uh, what do we want to make computer choice equal to? Wrong? So if computer choice is it's and a keyword, and we use and in this case. All right. So if computer choice is greater than 0.33, and computer choice is less than or is less than 0.67 computer choice is equal to paper. This is 0.34 and 0.66. Actually, if this is Java convention, this is probably not. There we go. Um, Alright, else, computer choice for everything else because we covered the bases is equal to scissors. So, throw in our semicolons, we always forget. And let's save some of the code. I choose paper. And it seems like it's working. So, next, we are using the compare function. We carried over the code from the previous section, but it is a comment. Leave it there for now. All right, so we're not going to use that stuff. Below the comment, declare function called compare. So compare, compare equals function. And 
we're going to say choice one comma choice two. Inside this function, we're going to if statement. Let's say if choice one is exactly equal to choice two. Then return the result is a tie. All right. Let's fix our. Uh, okay. Uh, inside our compare function, under the existing code, write an else if. Else if. Choice one is exactly equal to rock. We want it to do something else. Make sure you get your brackets right. Um, And inside the else if statement, write an if statement. If uh, if choice two is equal equal to scissors, return. Rock wins. Else return paper wins. All right. Uh, so we got a lot of brackets. You, if you're curious, if you did it right, you can always click on it. And so you see right here, these any brackets match up, so it should work all right. All right. There's a problem with our syntax. Alright, so let's see here. Let's see what it says. So if choice one is equal to choice two, return the result as a tie. Good. Let's space this out so we can see our stuff. So choice one, choice two. Alright, so that looks right. Else if, space out, choice one is equal to rock. If choice two is equal to scissors, we want to return rock wins, else return paper wins. So let's throw in our semicolon to see if that fixes it. I don't think it will. Choice one is equal to choice two. Rock ones, paper ones. Okay, uh, so that goes like that. This is the else if. Alright, so we need to, I think what we need to do here was take our bracket out. We didn't actually want it in this else if. Let's see. Okay. 
Let's see, is it what did I? Let's go to the farm to see what we're doing around here. It's probably some simple air. Wasn't very helpful. Keep it going though. Let's see here. Are we on eight of nine? No, on six of nine. So, what's the name of the section? Build rock, paper, scissors. All right. Choice. We're gonna take one more look. If choice two is equal to scissors, return rock wins. Else return paper wins. Hmm. What is going on here? Let's All right. Uh Looks like we were missing a bracket. I'm not quite sure what the issue was, but uh, at least we understood the concept to a degree. So inside the compare function under the existing code, write another else if statement where the condition is choice is equal to equal paper. So. Alright, so it's going to be else if choice two is equal to equal to rock. Some stuff. In this case, oh, excuse me, equal equal to paper. And so this else I can write if statement if. So if choice two is equal equal to rock. Wins. Else return scissors in and hopefully letter semicolons. Everything went smoothly. Good. All right. Under your old code, using the same structure as the past two, exercise finished off your function. 
we need to use uh, variables, user choice, and computer choice, uncomment the first lines of code by deleting this is how you do multi-line star slash, star slash call your function so we want to call our function and pass in user choice and computer choice, so in this case our function, if you remember way back when we started this, compare and we'll call user choice called computer choice. Uh, let's go paper this time. Computer goes rock. Alright. So we got all the way here. We did it. We finished our rock, paper, scissors game and only about 39 lines of code. We'll go scissors this time. The result is a tie. So the computer went scissors. The result is a tie. We're going to share it as always. And that was pretty quick. Uh, we stumbled a little bit on that that bracket. But uh, next section, it looks like we're doing for loops in JavaScript. So I will.